And we had uh, had another child, that's when Johnny was born in 1963. Mm-hmm. And and uh, I said, now all this just, I said, Lord, all this is happening right now. I said, now, you know, this is not what I what I want to do with my life. But I said, well, you know, evidently this is in the plan. So we went, so went ahead and moved back to Roxborough, <laughs> packed up everything in my mother and dad's house that I couldn't store somewhere else. And we moved back home. Uh, you know, I had a, I had sisters his mother's age. So I took her as a big sister. She was like a big sister to me because I had uh, sisters her age. And uh, we communicated. We stayed there at the, at, at, with them several years, didn't we, Merle? Mm-hmm. And we got along fine. She was just like a big, he, he was just like the daddy, you know, took him as the daddy, his parents and mine. And Merle, like my mother and father was just like, Papa was a deacon and he would uh, talk to Merle about different things about with, with the church. So uh, start working at, at the high school, it was the night, and uh, just got into the school system and everything and worked there uh, during the time it was a Perch County High School. And when they got ready to consolidate the schools and everything, and they wanted to uh, move me to Northern uh, Junior High School at that particular time. And Mr. Knight told the superintendent, said, no, so I need him. So he's over here working. He done worked over here all the years since he'd been back in Person County since 1963. So I need to keep him here for another year to kind of help me get everything established because that's when schools were uh, went, went to uh, full integration. And I stayed there for that year after he had integrated the schools. And during that time, Dorothy got employed at Person County High School as a teacher assistant. I started working at Person County Schools in 1965. And I worked there until they integrated the schools. I left Person County Training School and went to, in 1970, when they integrated the school, I went to Earl Bratcher School. And they had uh, grades from, at that time, it was from the first grade through the, I think first grade through the eighth grade. But uh, I need to go back and say when I first started as teacher assistant at Person County Training School, there I was uh, uh, had certain hours with with the with the high with the grade levels, and if the teacher wasn't there, I, I had to take care of the whole class. This was before I went to Earl Bradford, before they told integration. So, and I, I was a young myself, so I, I didn't have any problem with the children. The teacher had the lesson plan, so I went by the lesson plan and, and uh, carried on the whole, whole class. And it was quite an experience. And they were, you know, they were very, very respectful. And they didn't know that Merle and I was husband and wife. Because when he went, we when he went to school, he went in his room. I might stay there a little while till it was time for me to go. And we didn't see each other till the end of the day. We didn't even eat lunch together. So they didn't know that. A lot of them didn't know that I was his wife. And that was pretty much the same in the school system with the children. Mm-hmm. Now, I went to Northern. Our daughter was at Northern while yeah, I was assistant principal Northern. there. But a lot of people, that, even some of the teachers there, didn't even know it. When, she, she wouldn't associate herself with me. Mm-hmm. And when no, I was, but it was different when I went to the high school, when our son was at the high school. <laughs> now, he would holler at dad in a heartbeat. And a lot of the children there called me daddy too because of the fact that his friends did, because that's what he would do. Oh, he walked down the hall, hey daddy. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
oh, Daddy, can I do this? Can I? Uh, I need you to do this for me and all that kind of stuff. But he, he never mm -hmm. shone away from it. But our daughter was different. Yeah, when when John was in um, Earl Bratcher, I worked in the classroom with him. Children just didn't pay us no mind. He'd get along with the kids and everything. I don't think I don't think he called me mama. I don't think he just he just went on by his <laughs> So. Uh, when I was given given the choice, again, to go to Northern Junior High School as assistant principal. And I said, assistant principal? I said, look, I, I'm doing what I want to do. I want to, I want to, I said, now, since I'm teaching, I said, I want to teach. And uh, they, superintendent and the chairman of the Board of Education talked to me and told me, said, look, this is what we got for you, a plan to help to further you in education in Person County because you're back home now and we want you to stay. I said, what do you mean by want me to stay? He mm -hmm. said, well, if you get to be an assistant principal, you might get a chance to move up to a principalship. I said, I, I don't want to be a principal. I said, I want to teach. That's my desire because I, I used to love working with the children, you know, in the uh, in the school. So I said, well, Lord, I guess I prayed over. I said, I guess I take a chance at this, if this is not what needs to happen, then you show me another way. So I accept the position at Northern and got in up there with Doug Gray and with the faculty there and just fell in love with the school program altogether and also with administration because I had never been in administration before. I had helped him some night out a little bit over at Percy County High School when he needed some help in the office and nobody else was there because he didn't have an assistant principal. Uh, but Mr. Gallus and I were there to kind of pitch in and help him out some. So I stayed, uh, I stayed there with Doug Gray for uh, seven years. And things were worked out so well with the students there and also with the faculty and with the parents. And then they came back and offered me the opportunity to go to the high school as assistant principal. And I said, look, y'all just keep jerking me around. I said, now you, I said, I was satisfied at Southern, got to Northern, now I'm satisfied here, and then y'all want me to go to the high school. And then the superintendent told me, so he said, well, he said, uh, we got something else, a move for you. I said, what's that? He said, we're not getting ready to retire. From Southern. He said, I said, get ready to retire. I said, well, I just, you know, left Southern, went to Northern. Now, what that got with me with night retiring from Southern? So then the uh, social superintendent told me, he said, well, the Board of Education wanted to put you at Southern. I said, put me back at Southern? He said, yeah. He said, they won't want you to become the principal of Southern. He said, you've done a good job as assistant principal here uh, at Northern, and we want you to go to the high school so you can you can get familiar with the high school program. And then when night retire, we want you to go to Southern. And, um, and I came home, and I was talking with North about it, and I said, these people just keep jerking me around from one place to the other. I said, I'm satisfied. I said, satisfied where I am as it is. I said, no, nah, I love working with the people I'm working with. So finally, uh, Mr. Rogers got me in there one day with the chairman of the Board of Education. And they told me the plan they had laid out for me. And I said, okay. And I came back and I was telling Dorothy about that. I said, well, they just keep, I said, I hope this is the right thing. And I kept thinking in terms of, uh, what the Lord had already done for me, which I had no idea that my future would end up being in education and less known being uh, a school principal. So I said, Lord, I'm going to trust you. I've searched you up to this point and you haven't failed me. So then I left Northern and went to the high school with Tom Brown. And started working with him over there, and his thing just jailed so, jailed so beautiful with him and the faculty and the student body and the parents 
then, sure enough, Mr. Knight retired. And uh, <laughs> he was one of the ones you constantly tell me, uh, keep yourself straight. And at that particular time, I didn't know he knew that they were planning to put me over at, over at uh, Southern when he retired. But ever did all of this was in the, in their plan, and also in God. I said it was God's plan, not theirs. And when he retired, they transferred me to back to Southern Junior High School, and I became principal there in 1980, and stayed there until I retired in 1993. So that's pretty much what my education career had been like. <laughs>